Oh, we are on a roll today with these ridiculous women. So, yeah, why not? Why not get a reaction in? Let's see what uh, Homegirl has to say about how easy men are to play. Maybe the one she's playing. If you are wondering how you and another woman got the same man, it is because men are the easiest thing in the entire world. I have no- uh, Is that really why, Mia? Because men are the easiest thing, or is it you, or is it the women? I mean, because it looks from here like it's one dude smashing both of y'all. And you guys are saying, uh, he's the dumb idiot. He's the one that's easy to get, when in reality, each of you got one of him, but he has both of you. I don't know, Mia. I don't know if your math checks out on this. I... For the life of me, I'm starting to think that porn stars aren't really that good at math. <laughs> and I'm starting to think that maybe porn stars aren't really good at evaluating their own self-worth uh, and rounding that up to a dollar amount uh, for how much money they want to sell their body and their soul. Uh, it's just not, not good math. I'm starting to think that most porn stars didn't make it to algebra class. They just kept getting held back and stayed in pre-algebra and just never really figured out how much they are worth. And this is a telltale sign right here. I mean, this is some two minus one shit. It really is, Right? If, if, if two women got the same guy, then that guy's a dumbass, even though both of those women have to share that guy, and that guy has both of the women. Uh, Mia, I think your math is a little bit off. Jeez. I hope you can count your checks, sweetie. Let's see what else Mia has to say. Ever wanted a man and not gotten him? Do you have any idea how many men have wanted me well well no that's where you're wrong sweetie they don't actually want you uh most men would just fuck you I'm, I'm just being real i'm just being honest with you most men would just fuck you probably 90 percent of them then there's the 10 percent of guys like me that actually wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot fucking pole like, you'd have to have a fucking AIDS test in your hand. I'd have to, like, be able to inspect you. And then, I don't even know. Because, to me, I'd be like, man, I am stooping to a fucking level. And, best case scenario, Mia, if I did smash that, you... Th that phone would never ring. I mean, I would probably get a different phone the next day. On my way to the doctors to get checked out. And um, all that good stuff. Uh, you would also have to probably eat a whole bottle of morning after pills before I left. I'd have to watch you do it. So, yeah, that being said, Mia, you might really want to <laughs> consider how many guys actually want you or just to pinch your goddamn sloppy nipples. And not gotten me? Granted. I don't know why I just called her nipples sloppy. I can't even remember them off the top of my head. I don't really watch Mia Khalifa just because I've seen her around the porn net, whatever. But she's just such a dumb bitch that's always crying over doing dumb shit and making porn. And then makes more porn and then makes more shit up. And then cries about it like a little bitch. And granted, some dusties have caught me slipping. But... There has never been a single man that I have wanted that I have not gotten because men... That's... I guarantee you that's a fucking lie or you wouldn't have went into porn. You wouldn't have already been so fucking mentally broken and stupid uh, that you let, I don't know, a thousand guys run through you. Um, so, no, 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 sweetie. You don't get to sit here and tell us that you got everything that you wanted because if you actually got the guy that you wanted, he probably would have taken care of you and your dumbass wouldn't have to go do porn for a whopping $20,000 since your dumbass can't count. Ugh. 
Yeah. Give us that. Give us that. Give us that dumb look while you tell us how easy it is for you to get everything you've ever wanted from us because men are so easy and dumb. And then wait, what happens? What happens? We cut to this bitch crying. Uh oh. This looks like the next day reality actually set in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, you're such a fake ass bitch that you are actually going on the shitty people's playlist. Yes, it's not just political fucks. It's not. We're also, we're going to shine a spotlight on cruddy ass porn stars that want to talk down to people and act like they're on top of the fucking world when they can't do some two minus one shit. Oh, sweet porn star tears. Let's go through this step by step. How oh, I love it. did a girl who was brought by her parents to the United States from Lebanon, your home country, schooled in the United States, clearly smart, went to university. Clearly smart? Dude, come on. You're only saying that because she's sitting there wearing glasses, trying to look sexy librarian smart. I don't even know if the bitch wears glasses. It might all just be a front. If I wear these glasses... They'll offer me $5,000 more. They know I have a math problem. I get caught up on that two minus one shit. <laughs> am I taking the one away from the two? Or am I taking the two away from the one? Fuck Mia, can you come up with a negative number? Because that's pretty much what you did. I'm sorry, but your whole life's trajectory turned into a negative number. So let's see how this plays Texas out. Texas Red History. How did you get involved? Uh, I struggled my entire childhood with weight, oh. and I never felt Clearly. attractive or worthy right. of male attention. Right. And Hence suddenly, all the stretch my marks over her body. first year of college, I start losing all this weight from making small changes. Oh, and small changes. once I did that, I started garnering all of this attention from men. How come it sounds like a load of fucking bullshit? Because, yeah, honestly, I've never, ever heard a woman just say, yeah, I just naturally started losing all this weight from making small changes, and I ended up looking so good with no stretch marks on my body, even though you're sitting here saying that you used to be fat. No, no, bitch. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. I was chunky in middle school, bitch. I still have, like, a couple stretch marks on my legs, and... I, I'm six foot two, 200 pounds, lean as fuck right now. So, no, no, baby girl. No, no. I'm sorry. You lying. Okay? Ain't nothing special about you. Uh, somebody in the porn business picked you out and said, you want to make a couple hundred dollars? And you said, yeah, okay. And I was never used to it. And I felt like I was never unless used to it. I held on to it and kind of did what was asked of me or what was expected of me, it would go oh. away. And after feeling what it was like, that validation and, you know, the compliments for the first time, I did not want that to go away. Mm. What compliments? What compliments? Like the dude, the, the, the five dudes that got done busting on you at the end of the shoot, they're like, hey, slap you on the ass. Good job there, Mia. Good job. Good job. You... You really came through in the end. What fucking attention are you talking about? And how dumb do you have to be to actually think that that's good attention? Do you think there is some sort of wow. post-traumatic stress that is in you from this experience? Yes, and uh, yes, and rightfully I think it so. Kicks in mostly when I go out in public, because <laughs> uh, because this... everybody knows how much of a stupid, dirty whore I am uh, for twenty thousand dollars and. People look at me like I'm garbage only because I sold my soul and my body for, I don't know, $20,000 at a time. No big deal, right? I can't believe people actually look at me. I wouldn't look twice at this bitch other than to laugh at her. I'm just being real. Stares I get, I feel like people can see through my clothes and it brings me deep shame. It, oh, deep it shame. It makes me feel like... But not enough it makes shame me feel to like, not uh, do it. I lost all right to my privacy. Yes, you I did. And you might as well keep doing it, bitch, because you're ruined. I'm sorry. You are ruined. There's a fly in the dough. You're not getting that dough back. You are ruined. Ruined, as Stewie says. That's it. That's it. So you might as well cash out 
and uh, do you. And I really, really hope you find some contentment with all of your cats. Uh, maybe you will enjoy cleaning out 12 litter boxes. That's probably in the next 20 years, though. We'll have to see. Something tells me we're going to be hearing a lot about uh, Mia Khalifa, and we're going to be seeing a lot of tears every time she needs to make some goddamn clout. Because I'm one Google search away. Yeah. If you tattoo your face, you're going to face societal repercussions. We all know this. This is not new news. But to not consider with the same degree of logic as face tattoos, to me, is ludicrous. But what she talks about here shows the power of social validation and affirmation. It's literally a drug for the modern woman today, worse than heroin, crack, perks combined. It's almost as if validation today is the modern woman's god. Okay. And it starts from... Okay, I will agree with homeboy here. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk. Makes a very valid good point. Makes a very valid good point. Anyway, ladies, you might want to watch this before you consider doing porn. Honestly, it's never going to be worth it. It's never going to be worth it. No matter how many $20,000 payments they give you. Because someday you will meet a guy that you will want to be with. You won't give a fuck about the money. You won't give a fuck about anything. When you see him, it will be a match made in heaven. And guess what? Prince Charming is going to get up on that white horse and keep on riding, bitch. He's going to ride right by you. Probably with a dumb smirk on his face. Like, yeah, okay. You and your 5,000 body count. <laughs> you, you think you're going to get courted by me. Right? We're going to date. Right, I, I'm going to take you out and hold your hand, the hand that's, I don't know, jerked off 20,000 dicks. I'm going to hold that hand and I'm going to caress it and kiss it and put a ring on it. Oh, and that ring will slide right on that finger because Mia Khalifa just, I'm sure her fingers stay lubed up. <laughs> like, come on, come on. Who the hell is going to want to, yeah, I dare say, settle with that? Um, some guy did. M Mia Khalifa was married. Uh, I think these are some of the tears that we're seeing in this video is her divorce. And honestly, oh, I saw the guy that she was married to and I'm sorry, but he just looks like a goddamn simp. I guess they started. No, wait, no, I'm sorry. My bad. I am wrong. I'm wrong. That was the guy that married Riley Reed who just got divorced from Riley Reed because of porn. Because he was just like, look, when you come home and kiss me, you taste like five guys without the burgers and fries. Ooh, that was pretty good. So yeah, no, I'm sorry. That was uh, the other porn star who shall re re remain nameless to me because, I mean, I'm, I I'm sorry, but these women are worthless to me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take up any brain space to even remember their goddamn names. <laughs> but, but Mia Khalifa, first of all, I dig Wiz Khalifa and I jam out to that shit, right? So she's got that going for her, but that's it. That's it. That's about it. Other than that, she just keeps popping up on the goddamn internet, crying her little bitch face off about how bad life is now because she did porn and how she's so ashamed of herself. Oh no. Quick, shower me with hundred dollar bills so I feel better. I feel like people can see right through my clothes, but if I cover myself in money, oh, they can't see through it. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's nonstop. I don't know how many videos I've seen of this dumb bitch crying and it's always... It's always her talking shit first. I've always gotten every guy I ever wanted. Except for the first one that broke me and turned me into a piece of shit porn star. Uh, yeah, and it goes from that to her crying like a little bitch. And guess what? This girl's probably going to come out with at least one crying video every month for the rest of her sorry ass life. So, uh, ladies, this is just the God honest truth. Really think about this before you do something stupid like this, because there is no going back. There's no going back. And you also have to realize that even if you do do this, make some money, 
get with a guy and, and, and you manage to talk him into getting with you and actually trying to take things seriously, at any given point in time, that guy can just walk into the room and be like, look, this isn't working and I've tried to deal with it. You got to get the fuck out. I just, nah, 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 I'm sorry, but no, no, I, I'm tired of going out with you. Everybody looking like, oh yeah, I used to jack off to her 12 times a day type deal. This is why guys also don't want to date strippers. You really think we want to go take our old lady out and sit down in some restaurant and there's a table full of her regulars and you're looking over there like, oh, that's cool. They all probably just busted a nut on her forehead. No big deal. Maybe they'll pay for our food. What kind of shit is that? What kind of guy wants to go through that shit? Uh, not any guy that you're going to want to be with. That is the answer, ladies. Not any guy that you are going to want to be with. So you need to protect that potential future investment and not do stupid shit like porn for $20,000 fucking dollars. It is not that much money. Please. Please show that you are smarter than this dumbass girl named Mia Khalifa who looks like she wears glasses to try to make herself look smarter just because she's going on TV to cry about how terrible her life is and try to get clout, okay? This girl, uh, I mean, at this point, she's just like literally making crying porn. That's what this is. She is making crying porn and she speaks out against this shit, uh, and guess what? She turns around and she makes more porn. I guarantee you Mia Khalifa has a OnlyFans or whatever it's called and this and that. She's, she's sitting there selling nude pictures right now while complaining about how bad her life is ruined and also making videos talking about uh, how she's such a badass bitch. Seems to me like her depression is catching up and she really needs to get her meds under control. So... It's not this crazy mood swing uh, bipolar bullshit with her where it's, I'm on top of the world today and I'm a shitty washed up porn star tomorrow. So the, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know what you could do about that because in my opinion, you are so tarnished now at this point. From the perspective of any real man, you're so tarnished that I'm sorry, but you made your choice and now you have to sleep in your bed. And that bed's probably gonna be empty. And you can go to sleep every night saying all this shit about how every guy in the world wants you. They just don't wanna be with you. And hopefully that's good enough for you. Like I said, I really, really hope you enjoy cleaning out litter boxes. So ladies, take note, this is why you don't do porn. And I'm just being real with you. Later everybody.